Dude, this past weekend's foraging class was so freaking epic. I just wanted to pop on, give a little bit of behind the scenes action of some of the prep that I did, some of the story behind some of the ingredients I used, some of the plants and trees that we got to see along our walk, and a little recap of the overall class experience and day. Dare I say it, dude, this might've been the best one yet. The menu was on point, now let's break it down. And before I get started, I just wanna say that these foraging classes, by far out of anything I do as a small business owner, are the thing that fills my cup the most. I get to be outside, interacting with the environment, interacting with new people who are interested in things I'm interested in as well, and then share a big family style meal afterwards with a super laid back, chill environment where we all just get to hang out without any judgment. Dude, it's such a freaking vibe. Menus are often heavily influenced by different forage goods that I have stored away in my pantry or things that I'm finding that might, uh, you know, finding in the current moment that might shift the way um, I plan the menu or things that I put on it. So the number one thing I found recently was some winter oyster mushrooms. I found a boatload of them in a suburban area. So I picked a bunch of those and dehydrated them. The first course was a cream of mushroom soup that I made with some raw local dairy from Sweetgrass Dairy. Um, I blended the dry mushrooms in there with a bunch of Worcestershire and mustard. Um, obviously lots of salt and cream and thickened it up with the roux. That got served with some sourdough bread that I toasted in bacon fat and olive oil from Rush Creek Bread. He's super cool, it's my dude Pete. He mills all of the organic Ohio grain himself, leaves 100% of the bran and germ in the flour, so you're getting 100% of that nutrition that is normally extracted out of normal flour that we have at the grocery store. So crispy bread with some really nice creamy soup. That was super good. Then for the main course, we had fresh pressed tortillas from Tortilla Ria Maya. They're super awesome. Frankie and Monica have a small business here in Columbus and they're doing nixtamal tortillas, um, tamales, and you can also buy masa from them as well. They're super great. I did pork carnitas to fill the tacos. The pork came from Sweetgrass Dairy. And a little funny story about that, dude, there was, it was pouring down rain on the day that I needed to grill. And meat over charcoal just tastes so much better than meat cooked in a pan in the oven or whatever. So I was outside in the pouring rain grilling pork um, just because I believe that flavor is so much better. My girlfriend Jinky brought a light stand that she connected a umbrella to and put it right up next to me so I could have a little rain cover. So that was super cool, but the pork turned out super awesome. I also did a salsa verde with a bunch of wild alliums in there and some pickled red onions on top. And then I served it with some wild rice and beans that I cooked in a bunch of chicken stock and bacon fat as well. Then for dessert, I made a creme brulee base that I put some sassafras infused maple syrup into. And then I topped that creme brulee after I baked it off with more of the sassafras maple syrup, some preserved lemon, salty whipped cream, some candy black walnuts, and a little powdered magnolia bl blooms on there as well. So we had six wild foods in the dinner and there were seven local businesses that were supported by ticket sales. I think this is super awesome. It's a meeting of the minds, bunch of like-minded people getting to interact with different local food producers with linear values all trying to do better for the food system it was super special tons of community built tons of smiles lots of laughter we talked about um, magnolia on our walk we talked about black walnut we talked about sassafras we talked about blue spruce we talked about a Kentucky coffee tree and we also talked about service berries as well and then we got to try a majority of those ingredients in the dinner so it's a full um, tie in the bow on the package you get to see it out in the field and taste it back in the kitchen and enjoy it with a bunch of like-minded people super special super duper stoked there's just a handful of tickets left 
for next month at Schiller Park. And then I have a sold out class uh, the week after on the 30th, and then another sold out class April 6th, and then April 20th, there's a handful of spots left for that one. And I've got a bunch more dates coming out for the rest of the year. Dude, these are so awesome. They really fill my, fill my cup up. I think people are really digging them. I would love to see you at one. Thanks a whole lot for watching. Let me know if you like a video like this. I'd love to do more of them. I think they're cool. Give some insight into what I do and how I do it. And yeah, you know what it is, dude. See you next time. Be kicking.